Hey, it's today's Finding Faith. It's a special but a somber day for people in the Jewish faith. Yom HaShoah is also known as Holocaust Remembrance Day. Yeah, and joining us now is Cantor Aviva Merer with the Indianapolis Hebrew Congregation. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, when you think of this day, uh, what comes to mind for you first? You know, it's so interesting. Um, Yom HaShoah is, is a Jewish day of memorial, but also it's not a religious holiday. It's really important to note that it is a commemoration of a historic event, mm -hmm. and that while six million Jews were exterminated, of course, there were six million other groups that were also exterminated wow. um, and persecuted against. And, and so what comes to mind for me is the importance of remembering and also education, wow. right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I'll just say that we were fortunate enough to take a tour over in Israel a few years ago when we went through the uh, Holocaust Museum over there. Right. I can cry just sitting here seeing those pictures in my mind going through that museum. It just, it, it, you'll never forget, never forget your, the shoes and everything else. And you're seeing some pictures here. Yeah. Sure. Um, a lot of people may think that anti-Semitism isn't still a problem, and it is. What do you feel like uh, keeps the uh, Jewish people inspired? You know, I, I, um, I think there are a multitude of things that keep us inspired, but mm -hmm. For a moment, I just want to speak to the um, the idea of anti-Semitism not being an issue anymore. Right. So um, the ADL reported that in the year 2021, there were more anti-Semitic attacks in the U.S. than ever before. Wow. Um, they started uh, counting in the 70s. And so that's, that's incredibly important. Um, what does never forget mean if we are consistently seeing these attacks, not just on Jews, mm -hmm. but on on people of color, on people of different faiths, of mm -hmm. different um, gender identity. I mean, what, what does it mean um, to never forget the roots of bigotry mm -hmm. that led to such a catastrophe? Um, you ask me what keeps the Jewish people inspired. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Yom HaShoah is one day in our calendar, right. and we've got a multitude of fantastic holidays. You know, just a yeah. couple of weeks ago, we, we sat around the table with friends and family for Passover. Um, and I, I truly believe that um, if we don't celebrate our holidays and continue to mark the Sabbath and join together for Shabbat, then um, we're not keeping the memory of the six million alive. Yeah. So as long as uh, we continue in our Judaism and mark our holidays, um, in a sense, we keep their memory alive. Um, as allies, what do you think is most important for us to do to be able to, to keep each other in mind and through through tough times like these when, when these attacks are still happening? Yeah, thank you for that. So important. Um, I think, you know, it's important to note that when it comes to anti-Semitism, right, it is like any form of bigotry. It's born from ignorance. And I believe ignorance, of course, is born from fear, or mm -hmm. that the two of them go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is where history is doomed to repeat itself if we don't educate people. So just having the opportunity to go into schools, to teach about history, to talk about the mentality that led to Auschwitz, for instance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yes. um, and somebody spoke last night at a community memorial where they said that remembrance is our obligation. But remembrance without follow through, without education, um, is is just telling a story. It's not preventing it from happening again. Wow. So wow. that's what I think we can do. Wow. That's amazing. Amazing words. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here at Cantor Viva Mera. Um, find a faith, man. It just keeps getting better and better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, tell, I have to fight the tears. I really do yeah. here, but we really appreciate you coming on the show this morning. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I do want to mention that there are several ways to engage in the community for Yom HaShoah today and tomorrow. Um, feel free to check the Jewish Federation of Greater Indianapolis and the Indianapolis Hebrew Congregation websites for everything that's going on. Awesome. Thank we'll you have, again for having me. Yes, we'll have all that on LifestyleLive.com later on today.